So today I'm going to talk about this Cassato Whoosh in Mushroom. This is the pattern. Yeah, the Whoosh 2 Pushchair. Mushroom Magic. This product is not suitable da, 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 for maximum. It goes up to a maximum of 25k from newborn. And I got this off of the Amazon warehouse. So just because the box was damaged, it had... £50 off, which is not the reason the hood's not working, because it was all packaged up inside. So I'm going to show you. The price for this normally was is $199.95. This is on sale for $150. So you get the push chair and the um, rain cover. And some of the, you get lots, there's all sorts of designs. Let me find my cursor. Here he is. Some of them are a lot more. Let's have a look at this one. This is 22994 off of Amazon. So I don't know if you can get them cheaper elsewhere. I always find Amazon just really easy to order from and return if you need to, which I do in this case. So it's a Cassato Wush 2. Pushchair, ultra lightweight stroller from birth to 25k, one hand, easy fold and compact. This is obviously a sea monster. This is not the one that I originally ordered. This is the one that I ordered because I liked it for the girls. Thought it would be cute to have it from um, newborn and not have to take out my big prams. Um... And also, I've got um, an eye candy, and I tell you, this is nothing. I mean, I know the eye candy was a lot of money. Definitely worth it, in my opinion, for everywhere it goes across. But anyway, so yeah, one hundred and forty nine ninety five, and the cozy toes is uh, extra. I didn't even look for a cozy toes. This is how it folds up, which I liked because I thought that would be nice in my van. I want to go and stay at places. It'd be so much easier. The eye candy is humongous. And when I pull the bed out, you know, I've, if I have one of my other prams like this, and here is the, the pushchair part of it, then I probably wouldn't be able, I don't know. I don't know how it would fit. So I thought I'll get some ink compact. And I really like this design for the for the girls, like I say. So let's have a look at it now. Okay. So to undo it, it also it does oh yeah, it does stand it stands on its own, right. Let's undo it. Okay, so it has a clip on the side. Let me just make sure you're a bit more in. Mm -hmm. There you go. So it has a big long clip on the side here. You do that. And then you go up. And then it's got to click in. It's also got a little bell. Why? I don't really understand what the bell is because you wouldn't be running or doing anything ex uh, exercise or anything with it. I wouldn't have thought because to me it's just it's just not worth it. I <coughs> um, straight away by just feeling it, lifting it. I just don't like the feel of it. It is just, it is really, really light. Really light. So if you need a light buggy, and maybe with a heavy child in it, it would add that bit of weight to it. I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at it. So when it comes in the box, it comes with the wheels off. So I've just slotted the wheels in. The wheels just pop out. So if you need to, Fold it down. Any more than that, you can take the wheels off. 
There you go. Sorry, you're not going to get my head in. It's not going to. Um, okay, here's the hood. Here's the seat. So the seat, just the seat is really easy, simple as well. You've got this in. But I don't know how heavy this would be with a child on it. And you've got, and the child like wants to sit up for being asleep. And you've got to push, push that. So at the moment I've got it lying down because I want to try my newborn in it. Anyway, this is the hood. So the hood, on Cassatos, the hoods are always nice. So for reborn mummies, it's really nice for you if you want to have a hood on it. Right, here's the bar. So I may be wrong and I may be that you can fold it up with the bar. But I can't see that in a picture. So you can have the bar on or off. And flap the hood. This side is really stiff and it doesn't turn as well as this one. It doesn't come out, see? Can you see that side? This side works, this side doesn't. And also the handle is too high for me. So I am 5'3". This is the handle height. And this, for my fibro, this really makes my elbows hurt. And I also find that with the silver cross strollers as well, they're always too high for me. And so after a while, what they do is make my arms ache. Um, so I don't know, it's, to me it's like, it's real, it's real high up. <laughs> and it does have a little hole through here that you can see a little one. The fabric is really, really nice, like I say. Oh, it's got a five point harness. And this all Velcro's in. So this has got Velcro. And you can just Velcro it in. And I, this has got really nice material that would just be able to be um, wiped over, I should think, easily enough. And then it does have two little loops up here that you can hang toys and things from, I'm guessing. This just this thing in here, I think it is faulty. This thing in here just does not turn enough. Imagine when you've got a bigger child in there and they're blem, blem messing about with the hood. I don't know. I just don't. The 200 pounds, I just, I don't know. I wonder if you just pay more for the fabric than the quality of the push chair. I don't know. It's got quite a nice padded, side, padded seat. The seat is quite nicely padded though. The straps are padded. So it is quite nicely padded. And it is, what is it, cardboard under there. You put the straps right up to here, there. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it also has a little pocket back here. So this is the mechanism that you use to put it shit down or up. So you've got to, you've got to be able to press this back and turn this. It says it's one handed design, but I think if you've got a child in it, <laughs> A one-handed design when you've got hope trying to hold on to a child has to be a lot better than that I appreciate that it's like new okay so stiff. this is it with the, a newborn in it okay so this push chair is meant to go from the newborn up and I've laid this oh, try and hold this the hood is like is damaged won't fold back but it will but it takes a lot of effort anyway so this is a newborn in here and I've put this um, furry thing on because of the straps so if you order the foot muff to go on it it probably would be better but I still I just don't like it. I don't think it's cozy enough. I don't 
I just don't think it's nice for a newborn. It just feels flimsy and like a slightest bit of wind will blow it over. I just, I don't know, maybe it's because she's not on cosy toes, but I sure think that even if she was in a cosy toes, that it, she wouldn't, um, I wouldn't like it. I know I wouldn't like it, not for a newborn. Hang on, I'll probably pull on the hood. So you don't even like give enough coverage without a foot muff. You definitely would need something for a newborn to lie on. Okay, it's... Let me just show you from here. You see how slanted up it is as well? It's not perfectly flat. So you would really have to make sure that your little one didn't slip down as you were pushing it along into the Moses basket. Well, I, you would have them nicely strapped in, I would guess. I don't know. I just, just not my... Looks looks amazing, but it's definitely not my thing. I put my little darling back in the big bouncy pram. <laughs> so much better. So much better. Just rocks them to sleep because it just, just rocks all sorts of ways. So it's just so good. I do, um, it's by the window here. And I move it over to that side sometimes as well. So it's not in direct sunlight. I just worry that the hood is going to fade. So I do. And I don't like, and I don't, definitely don't store prams with the hood down. Uh, look at her. She looks so much more comfier in there, doesn't she? With a gentle rock of the, of this big bouncy heritage single silver cross that they're no longer making. Anyway, let's go back to this. Is what we're talking about this one. Cover. Like I say, you have to get the foot muff separately. It's a nice size basket which you can access from the front and the back. So the basket is nice as a nice size. It's got swivel wheels, which you know most people would expect these days off of a push chair. And um, okay, so it's a one hand fold. I'll put the brake on. Down, pull that back, and then you've got to push on it. I can feel it going down. When they show it on the telly, it just looks so easy, doesn't it? <sighs> right, let's get the instructions. Oh, maybe I'm just not doing it right, hey? There we go, yeah. It just says, call back, A. Make sure the hood's up. Maybe you can't do it with the thingy bar on. Maybe you've got to take this bar off. So it's just got a little button underneath that you just take out. And then it does have these little things that you can just pop in there to close the holes up. So let's try it now. Maybe, it, maybe that was why, because I didn't have that off. Okay, so pull off the safety feature, make sure the thing's back, push this this way. Yep, now I can see. Can you see? Now it's going down. So it is stiff. You can't fold it up then with the bar on, I'm guessing. And um, it has to go all the way down. And make sure it's got a catch on it, and then you hold it by here. This is what it says pick up point here. So it does fade down quite a nice size, 
But man, didn't that take ages to fold down. Jeez. But I guess it's stiff. It's new, so it's going to be stiff. But it doesn't give me much encouragement that it's going to last very long. There we go. It's got this underneath the um, seat. It says secret hiding place. I'm not quite sure what you would need to put in there. It's kind of like a bike thing. Some people have these on their bikes. Maybe you could put the rain cover underneath the seat. It's literally underneath this seat. Maybe you could put the rain cover underneath it. And um, yeah, I also didn't say that the footrest, the footrest was able to go up and down. So that's it on my table, folded up. I no, I'm just not impressed with it, and so I am returning it. And a four is supposed to have. A four-year guarantee if you register it within 28 days. So maybe, maybe, I don't. I couldn't imagine this lasting for four years. Not when you've got a big child in it. Now my arm aches anyway from putting it up and down. Definitely prefer the old style wayfarer. I mean, I haven't used my eye candy, put my eye candy up and down for ages. So I've probably forgotten how to do that because I have a camper, so I just put it in upright. But these are the best. These little, these old push chairs are definitely the best and the easiest to put up and down. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like them today because they don't come with hoods. We never had hoods for the kids when the kids were younger. You just had the rain covers or um, a push chair mac, as I used to call it, the push chair mac. You used to just fit over the push chair with a little um, hood out the top and a zip up at the front. I used to call it the push chair mac. So there we go. Side note, I'm hoping to get the um, blue discs on of those today, tonight, when, when Grumpy comes home. So that's my side note to that. But yes, so there you go. Now I'm going to take the wheels off and put it back in here and send it back to Amazon. Right, there we go then. That's the Cassato Bush 2 <laughs> that I looked at. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say apart from that it's not something that I would be buying. I much prefer the old umbrella styles. Don't like the one-handed fold. Um, my arm is killing me now because I do have fibromyalgia, so my arm is killing me. I know it'll probably get easier um, as it goes on, but then I wonder how much wear it's getting then because I don't know. It probably is just so stiff because it's brand new. But it doesn't impress me much. But you might like it. I know a lot of people love the designs. But I remember before I even had um, a Cassato pram that went into a pushchair. And I had it for a little bit. And then I didn't like that either because it just felt too flimsy for me. Too flimsy for a baby, really. And um, so same with that one. From a newborn, no way. I would not be putting a newborn in that. No way. Um, let me know what you think. I just thought I'd just do it. I was just not even going to do the video. I was just going to have a look at it because I'm going to the doll show on Sunday. So I was just having a look at it with a view of just taking it to Sheena's and using it up there and taking it to the doll shows and just keeping it as I like one of my little runarounds because my blue one broke. So I had to um, bin that one, the blue oyster switch that I've had for ages. And um, just not impressed. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye.